cancer at least once in our lives. Maybe we know someone who has gone through it or who is going through it. Each year, 12.7 million people are diagnosed with cancer and 7.6 million people die from the disease. But how much do you actually know about it? I'm here to explain how cancer starts and how any of us can get it. To start off, cells divide all the time because they no longer have space to grow and they need to replace dead cells. These cells divide naturally or in a controlled way. Cancer starts from the damage in the DNA of a cell. This damage is called mutation. Many other things can cause cell mutation. These cells start to divide and keep dividing with uncontrollable yeah. cell division that leads to the formation of abnormal growths called tumors. Why a crab, you ask? Fun fact! The word cancer actually comes from the Greek word kanker, which literally means crab. The blood vessels all around the tumor actually do make it look like a crab. There's actually two types of tumors. Benign tumors, which stop growing and never spread. These are not actually cancerous, and malignant tumors. These tumors invade the tissue around the body and spread. These are cancerous. But what makes cells turn cancerous and divide uncontrollably? Cells divide when their genes tell them to. But when a gene has a mutation, it will tell their cell to divide when there's no reason. When a cancer starts, the body's immune system will recognize the cancer cells as abnormal and attack it. This may kill some cancer cells, but they may not be able to eradicate it. To have the energy to keep growing, the cancer cells need a blood supply. The cancer sends out a chemical signal to draw blood vessels to it. These vessels allow cancer cells to spread to other parts of the body. Even though it's hard, there are ways to eradicate the tumor that have been proven to be effective. There's surgery, which is the removal of the tumor, chemotherapy, which is used to shrink the tumor, Radiation therapy, which uses high-energy radiation to also shrink the tumor. Targeted therapy, which is just a special kind of chemotherapy. And immunotherapy. Like it says in the name, it uses your body's own immune system to attack the cells. In 2016, the first campaign against human papilloma virus, the main cause of uterine cancer, was carried out in my country, Bolivia. Unfortunately, because of misinformation, the campaign wasn't as successful as they wanted it to be and the vaccination percentages were low. I, fortunately, was vaccinated, but many children weren't. This is why we must raise awareness and most importantly, educate ourselves in these matters. Do not forget to go visit your doctor regularly. The sooner you treat cancer, the easier it is to cure it. I hope you learned a bit more about cancer today. Ciao.